Good morning, Jamie here from Poodle Press. I hope you're well. Here is a first look at a upcoming plugin that we've built or building called Block Injector for WooCommerce. It's going to be released soon. Here's a first look at it. Basically, the idea behind it is that you can create blocks, you create content using the block editor, and then you can inject those blocks anywhere within your site at specific places within your site. So that's the idea. So it's very powerful. Um, and there's a number of ways why you might want to do this. Imagine if you've got a website with a thousand posts and you want to run a campaign where you can just inject content anywhere within those thousand posts uh, to publicize that campaign. You can also um, inject these blocks in specific places within WooCommerce. That's what's really cool about this as well. So I'm gonna give you a little demo right now uh, just to give you a sense of what's possible with it. But you'll see after you install the plugin, which isn't released yet, but it's coming soon, You'll have this new menu called Block Injector here. This is where you create your um, your blocks essentially, and this is using the WordPress block editor. So you can create anything in here you like. You can add any third-party block in here. Uh, let me just create an offer. Um, now I'm going to inj I'm going to try and in use the WooCommerce blocks here and handpick some products. But you could use any. Um, any blocks at all that's what's cool about this so you can design this however you like and let me just give this a little title if I could spell uh, summer holiday sale I'm gonna call this and let's just center this so this is just basic Gutenberg stuff here we're just using the block editor but the magic happens over here on the right in the block customizer if I click on document this is actually where you can set where you want this block to appear and it dynamically injects into that place that you set so these are the choices we put in um, I'll make this bigger on the actual video as well so you can actually see this. But we've got um, your posts, you've got specific posts, you've got posts by category, posts by tags, and then you've got pages, all your pages, or just specific pages. And then we've got some specific WooCommerce options for you. Uh, so all WooCommerce pages, all products, products by category, products by tag, specific products, all category pages, specific, specific category pages, your shop page, your account page, your basket page, your checkout page. Um, so it's pretty powerful. Uh, so you just choose one of these. I'm going to say, right, let's show this on all posts. And then you can also set the position of them. Uh, now we've got top, bottom, custom hooks, after heading or after blocks. So if I want this to this to appear on all posts, I just hit publish. Now when I go and visit my website, now I've already got some posts set up, and go into any of these posts, there's my offer. How cool is that? But again, within there, I could have put you know any block I wanted or a collection of block or a block patterns. It just dynamically injects into that post. And you'll see when I go to that post, just to prove I'm not cheating, it's not in there. It's dynamically injected using the block injector. Uh, let me just go back here. So let, let's say I wanted to say um, specific coast by category, and then I can actually just say, right, this is a summer offer. So just set this in my summer fashion category. And now if I go to summer here, there we go. It's injected it into my summer post. But if I go to my winter post, which is this one here, there's no post at all. There's no block at all. So you can do it by category, which is really powerful. Uh, you can also, let me just go back here to my blocks, block injector. You can also, as I said, you can decide where that, where that goes within. So I can say, right, I want it post by the category of summer, but I actually want it to appear after a certain number of blocks. And let's say I want it after three blocks. So then it'll just dynamically count uh, the blocks and it should move it down, there we go, after three blocks, that's really powerful. Now imagine if you had, you know, 100 posts around summer, you can just inject these offers directly into it. So that's how you um, inject it into posts, and you can do the same thing in pages and specific pages. Let me move on now to show you how you can use it with WooCommerce. All right, let's move on to WooCommerce. I'm just gonna show you a few things that are kind of cool. The first is the ability to so, um, create on all, all WooCommerce pages. So the scenario might be you're running a flash sale or a Black Friday sale and you wanna publicize your sale on every single WooCommerce page. Well, you can use Block Injector to, to do that really simply. We have a setting that says all WooCommerce pages. So I've set this one up here and I've built this just using the cover block, which is a standard Gutenberg block and I created it. I've set it to be fixed background, so we have this snazzy fixed background. And in the in the block injector settings over here, I've said, right, I want this to show on all WooCommerce pages and I want it right at the top of them. So let's update it here. Now, when we go back to our site here, on all our WooCommerce pages, including you know the account page, 
the checkout page. Now you can exclude it from certain pages as well. So you could say, right, I want it on all the pages except the checkout page and except the cart page. But at the moment, I've set it to show on all the pages. It's gonna show on my shop page. It's also gonna show on the individual product pages as well, right at the top there. So we've just injected that right at the top of our um, WooCommerce product pages, which is really cool if you wanna run campaigns, uh, but you don't wanna to have to hand put these blocks in where you can do it just using the block injector. Uh, just to show a few other options here, you can also add it directly just into one page. So the, the My Account page potentially, where well, you might want specific uh, messages for your customers. Again, there we go, just injected directly into the My Account page. Um, you can also set it in different places, just like you can uh, here. So you could say, right, I want it to show at the bottom of the My Account page. And then when we reload this, see how it's gone from the top and it's now at the bottom of it. So there we go. There's a look, a brief look at the um, block injector for WooCommerce. I think it's gonna be really, really helpful, hopefully, and powerful. Uh, it's coming out soon. We're just running through some final testing on it. Um, if you enjoyed the video, if you can give it a thumbs up, and um, that helps spread the word. If you want to be notified when we release it, just uh, contact me through my website, poodlepress.com. And if you want to see more videos around the block editor and WooCommerce, just hit the subscribe button because I'm doing about two a week, uh, not just around our products, but around uh, Gutenberg and WooCommerce in general. So hit the subscribe button and thank you so much and I shall see you soon.